Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDA Lime. Welcome back to Circadian Dice, where we are continuing our bid to unlock the final relics in the game. Uh, things are getting really tough now. Uh, we have two left. Uh, one of them is to beat hard campaign mode with any class to unlock, uh, which just seems insane. Uh, and this one is get five stars in hard mode chaos realm with any class to unlock. Uh, also seems insane, but that's the one we're going to try now. We're going to do our first attempt with the Cleric, I think, because um, he has lots of shield, uh, so hopefully that will help us get far enough. Uh, I've never done Hard Mode Chaos Realm before. Uh, I'm going to try uh, taking him in with Dream Saver, uh, which I don't often use, uh, but this is a relic that lets us score the full points bonus and keep our streak when selecting non-score rewards. Uh, so if we need to pick other things to keep ourselves alive, uh, we can do that without hopefully depressing our score too much. Uh, Onk's Fist for uh, the Stone and the Lifesteal. Uh, and then the two trapping relics. So the Sealing Collar, replace an attack on your second and fourth dice with a trap. And increase the attack of captured enemies by one. And the Trapper's Mantle, traps have 20% higher capture chance. And a used trap is replaced with a fang attack. Uh, so I've been using the those two uh, trapping relics in some of the other runs. Um, and it's felt like it's helped a bit. Uh, so we'll see how we do. Let's go. Okay, nice, nice gentle start. Uh, we should grab that trap and we can keep a blue gem. And we can put that on it. So that's pretty good. Uh, ethereal 1 next time he takes damage, reduce the damage to zero. Uh, we want to save our abilities for as long as we possibly can, honestly. He's only doing one damage to us anyway. Um, we only have three turns to kill him, which is not a lot. If we capture him, uh, you can't take damage this turn. And that's it. Okay, so he's not very good to capture. So let's, uh, let's keep that for the gold and get rid of the ethereal. Let's uh, keep that for the gold and one point of damage. Uh, keep that for the gold and one point of damage as well. Okay. Um, we don't really want another trap on the same dice, I don't think. Uh, although the gold and the shield and the chain is not bad. I mean, I guess though, it then t because it turns into a fang, that could end up being a powerful attack. Actually, all right, let's just try it. Right. Um, I just forgot to look how many points we need for five stars. A lot. Uh, weaken eight charges, reduce target enemies attack by one. Strategic retreat, increase your shield by one, and then gain one gold and two health for each shield you have. Retreat. Uh, okay, disease two. Oh, I'm now wondering whether I should have brought some uh, multivitamin. Probably. Oh well. Uh, let's see. That's what we roll. Do we actually want to capture any of these? Got one extra reroll each turn when he's captured. Uh, add one cursing attack to a random face when he's captured. Charge non-fang attacks on this die as if they were magic attacks. Heavy. Uh, Alright, we'll keep that. We will... Uh, get rid of you. Try 
charge non-fang attacks as if they were magic attacks. Don't have any red gems at the moment. Uh, I don't know, do I want to capture these early? <sighs> well, we're not capturing that one anyway. Capture you there. abilities we've got. So yeah, shield bash, shield symbols on dice also count as two attack symbols this turn. It's one blue gem. Early light, two white gems increase your max health by two and gain seven health. Uh, and then strategic retreat, uh, white and a blue, increase your shield by one, gain a gold, two health for each shield that you have. Uh, I wonder, given we've taken this, Add stun and lifesteal to target non-trap die face. That's good. Seven XP would not get us our next dice, but it would get us closer. Um Edge. Okay, we're taking a fair amount of damage here. Right, when this dies, add its attack to all enemies. Okay, so we want to kill him last. Stun on lifesteal. Uh, I want a better attack to add it to. Let's restock. Um, oh, I could put this over here, but I, I, I want to keep the shields. And 
once we've used this, it will put a fang on it. Mm. No capture ability on him. Let's do it. Gain the dice as well. Okay, great. Okay. Well. okay. I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna do one damage to you to make you easier to capture. And we'll kill you. Charges for Holy Light, 10 XP. Uh, or streak and points. I wonder if we're better getting our... Like, leveling up as quickly as we can to get our fourth dice as quickly as we can. And then worrying about streak. Although... <laughs> Later on, we're probably going to need to take some of these things. Maybe we should get streak early. Um, hmm, let's take the 10 XP. Revenant Pharaoh. Oh my god. Uh, I think there's basically a 0% chance of capturing him while his health is as high as that. That is insane. Um, that really is insane. Stun and lifesteal. Uh, what have you put that on there? Okay, keep. Let's suppose we capture him. 10% chance? What happens if we do capture him? Uh, curse heals you instead of damaging you. Failed, but increased the capture chance, so still worthwhile. Um, okay, we need one more white gem. I think it's still going to be a 10% capture chance. Moves three symbols at random from your dice when damaging you. I mean, that's just awful. Reroll first, done. Okay, good. Do that. Yes! Okay. Curse heals us instead of damaging us, and that now does 5 damage. So, let's add. Uh, stun and lifesteal to that face as well. Uh, and if we can afford this at some point, that would be very nice. Uh, let's see how we're doing. Take the streak here. Okay, choose a trial. All enemies get disease one for the rest of the scenario. All enemies have plus one base attack for the rest of the scenario. God. Oh boy. Disease one is just. So I'm gonna go for the extra base attack. But I don't regret that. This is a ton of damage. Uh, well, that's a good hit. And this dies stun adjacent enemies. Perfect. Keep. Stun you guys. Who would we like to capture? Uh, double the amount of non-fang attacks on a random face on capturing dice. So that would go to a double attack. Oh, great. Uh, effect when captured, question mark. Uh, oh, I've captured him before. I can't remember what his capture effect is. Uh, oh, I think it tells us what face we're going to roll, actually. Uh, this one, you can't take damage this turn. Okay. 
This one, 50% chance to add a temporary attack to the rolled face when keeping this dice. That's actually pretty good. What ability are we losing? The extra reroll. Uh, but also, if we capture him, we save ourselves from six damage. Or four damage, I guess. And he will be a stronger attack. So, let's get you. All the attack, and now these are both four attack. That's pretty good. Uh, we could put shield bash. Disappear. Oh, what did he do? He moved some symbols. What did he move? Wasn't that a. Did he move symbols or did he delete them? Oh, God. Either way, that's a pain. <laughs> well, that stuns enemies damaged by this dice face. Okay. So, uh, yeah. That's basically a black dice face now. Which sucks. Next time he takes damage, reduce it to zero. Okay, well that's fine. We can just do that and that. That. We've got beefy attack with all these fang symbols and all of the captured enemies. Uh, we're just going to have to replace this. Try and get some money somehow. Uh, two charges for Holy Light, or gain some gems, or points. Okay, double attack during the day. Regenerate one. Pile when defeated, my god. So much damage! Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 damage. Okay, so we... We can kill one. I think we re roll. Yeah. That's probably the best that we can expect. That we don't want to get today, so we're going to kill you. And we're going to stun you. Just gonna take the remaining damage. Ouch, that's quite a bit. That's not good. Oh god, of all times to roll that face. We got no choice, do we? Are we dead? We, I think, we're dead unless he attacks himself. Uh, I can do strategic retreat. Let's do a strategic retreat. Still alive. He did attack himself. Okay, that's good. Uh, all right, we could capture somebody. We could capture you in one health at the end of each turn. That's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it's better ability than that. Can we actually do it though? I guess we try it. Yes. Comes a burnt pile when defeated. Chance to attack itself. We're both attacking me for three, so I may as well kill him. And then maybe he'll kill himself. Uh, what we could do, we could shield bash. Shield bash. God, I need to get some. I mean, I've got two faces that are healing me. Need some money. Need money, money, money. Let's shield bash. Okay, got our fourth dice. Great. Um. Take the health. We take the money so we can buy something. 
looking good. We could buy... This is an illusion face, so it's not... It's going to go away. Uh, splash. Cursing attack. It's pretty good. But we can't afford it, because that's six. Because uh, that's nine, and we would only have six. We won't be able to afford this either, so we could only afford that, so... Yeah. I think we should take some health. All right. Uh, double shield is nice. Swaps attack and health when damaging you. Okay, well. When this deals damage, a random enemy gets plus one health and plus one max health. Shield one. Okay, well this is worth keeping for sure. I think we... Uh, Bearing attacks, that would be eight fear. <laughs> We're almost dead if we take that. Let's get rid of you. Uh, we could get rid of Rex, and then we're taking... Uh, eight. No, we're taking less than that because of our shield. Why is it... St oh, yeah, it's, it must have been it's blocked. Okay, good. Let's get rid of Rex. I have to deal with him anymore. Uh, we could put this on our... Uh, on our dice here to give us a reaping attack and another way possibly of capturing someone. Don't love it though. We can do better. We could shield bash now. That would be four damage. What's he do again? Uh, moves a random symbol on your dice at the end of the turn. You know... Wait, why was... Wasn't that four damage and he had four health? Why didn't he die? Oh, I thought you were going to move. There to there. Okay, which is not bad actually. You give us something on reroll. I can live with that. Um can also live with that. Kill you. Kill you. Still need more money. Uh, but maybe now we should buy this. God, we got two empty faces. The problem here is that these faces are both pretty good. I don't really want to replace either of them. So what we need is something like this. Um, where we can just replace the one face. That's expensive for 12. Uh, I guess it's more blue gems. With a hand, this is... straight heal, but we, we can we can do better than that anyway. Mm. And it's a shield. I guess. Uh, gain four gold. Nice, but also expensive. Or points or charges for shield bash. Take the points. Okay. Rift Abomination. The, five, the next five times he takes damage, reduce that to zero. You've got to be kidding me. How the heck do we deal with that then? We're dead. <laughs> We're dead. There's no way. Can't even stun him. That's insane. Okay, well, what else can we do? We've got to get rid of the other stuff. I mean, we've got a pretty good roll here. He will disappear. We 
We can kill the vampire with the six. We can kill the tether parasite with uh, this. We can kill the wizard with that. I guess that's what we do. Buy ourselves a little time. Uh, absorb the first one non piercing. Do that. This is still going to be a nightmare. I don't know how we do this. Uh, oh, we capture him. Could we could capture him. Oh, it's such a bummer <laughs> that none of this damage matters. Uh, God. But we've we just got to hit him. Many times as we can. And attempt to capture. Uh, is it, oh, he's uncapturable. Oh, God. I mean, really? Guess we survive that. Yes. Okay. Keep that. That. Stun and actually kill. Oh my god. Okay, we're on five health though. Ah, uh, we are going to take the health. All enemies have plus two base attack for the rest of the scenario. Or curse four dice faces at random. Curse is fine. Curse heals me instead of damaging me. Let's go. Let's go, Curse. If all your rolled faces have debuffs, you die. Okay, that's bad. We should kill you. Unfortunately, you're not doing much damage. Uh, but wait, six. God, I'm just thinking whether there's a way to capture him, but I don't think there is. We could capture Rex. Gain one attack multiplier until end of turn whenever an enemy dies. Is that what we want to do? All attacks on this die deal one extra damage. Yeah. We only have him for 13 turns there. Okay, but that now doubles the damage of these. One to a random face when killed. That's a pain. Uh, then we get rid of you. We do five damage to you. Seven we could, can we shield bash? No, we don't have a, a blue gem. But he has piercing. But the others do not. Can we do better? Than five. Maybe we do five and we kill him, but then we're taking f Ah, uh, no, we got two shield anyway. So... Do five to you, two to you. Okay, diseased. I should definitely have brought multivitamin. But whatever. It'll be fine. Maybe. Uh, let's quickly kill him before we roll all... Uh, all diseased faces. If we capture him... Uh, gain 2 XP when you keep at least 1 debuff face, 4 gold when you keep at least 2 debuff faces, 6 health when you keep at least 3 de Yeah, I mean, that's just amazing. Uh, so... I think we just... 90% chance. Yes. Okay. Means we can do that, and that, and we are good. Okay, next star at 1,000. Jeez. Uh, a 
But yeah, but we are still getting the... What exactly does this do again? You score the full points bonus and keep your streak when selecting non-score rewards. Okay, so we still get the, the points. It's just we don't in increase our streak. So actually that's pretty good. Move a debuff at random from your dice. Ah, uh, we might end up removing a, a curse which actually heals us, so I'll take that. Okay, they keep coming. My god, five stars feels like such a long way away. Oh, we gotta keep this because Frozen. That sucks. Uh, Frozen doesn't go away till we replace the face either. We need gold. We need gold. I mean, we got no choice, we have to keep it. Um, we get gold from him, which is awesome. That is awesome. What can we do with this? I think we need to keep this as a shield. Uh, I guess we get rid of the troll brute. Oh, God, it's brutal. Do I even have two damage? Ah, oh, but now we do have uh, what we need for shield bash. Okay. And we got this. All right. Let's go. I don't really want to trap on this face because he heals us every turn. I would like me. Oh, I hate losing this. The other option is to lose the stun. But maybe I'll lose the stun. Ah, oh, but we want we want to lose the freezing face. No, we got to lose the freeze face because that's that's just gonna kill us. Also got one down here as well, which really sucks. Okay, let's put that on. Uh, extra charges for shield bash. Preach. Capture target enemy with attack one or health one in a random empty die. If the no empty die, your random capture is replaced. These are all here for the duration. I don't actually want to get rid of them, so let's take the charges on shield bash. And we will do shield bash now. Uh, four damage on you. Two damage on you, and one damage on you. Next turn. Uh, okay. What is this again? You keep getting six health when you keep at least three debuffed faces. This is so good. The capture abilities on this. Uh, I do think it was a good idea taking. Capture relics. Okay, we will keep that. We'll kill you with that. You with that. And again. Ah, go away, traps. Don't want traps. I could restock. I'm gonna restock. Uh, it sucks getting rid of this. Um, fang, but I also want to get rid of the disease faces as well, so... I think we do that. I just, just got to get rid of that frozen face. That could absolutely end our run. Two turns left to kill him as well. Mm. Okay, we've got to go for higher damage. Five damage. And we can shield bash as well. Let's do it. Yeah, 
relic that removes the buffs is probably essential. Probably should take that instead of Onk's Fist. I think. Would have been a good idea. Alright. Can't get either of those chests, which is a shame. Uh, remove the buff at random from your dice, gain 25 XP or points. A uh, war streak, I guess. Which is an extra 10 points from every round. Following this one, let's remove the buff. Remove disease. It did. Great. Uh, 654, that's pretty good. Uh, Cosmic Horror, hello. Uh, yeah, about that. But we're actually not dead, amazingly. Uh, piercing attack disease 1. Other enemies respawn once as a walking corpse. Damage cap 2. Hate that. Hate that. How are we surviving? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Because we're taking 19 damage. We can do 15 on the Cosmic Horror. But, well. What is a walking corpse? How bad is that? We just we just can't take many hits of this. Is the problem. I mean some heal on reroll would be good. Equal to, your equal to its attack to you when it dies also sucks. Strategic retreat. Not the best, given we've only had one shield. It would help mitigate some of the damage from these guys. I think we keep... to try to kill him as quickly as we can. Uh, if we can get another white gem though, we can increase our max health by two and gain seven health. This is just gonna save us all health. We do this. It will get us a gold. This face is insane. Um. This is probably better if we can get another way. Well, but then again, we could do this again next go. Probably gonna take, God. I don't know. next go, but I mean, we may end up with a white gem. Mm. Well, this gains us health as well, but we're at max health already, so yeah, I'm not going to do it. Okay, that 
does not cut it, other than we could capture the cosmic horror. <laughs> we could capture the cosmic horror. Um... He's got 11 attack. He'd have 12 attack. Although then we lose the abilities of the witch, which is pretty good. Oh, I don't know. I mean, this lets us... Hey, Kate. How are you doing? Sorry. Just seen your message. Uh let's just kill the cosmic horror but then we're taking three four five six seven eight nine damage so we would be dead so i think we have to reroll get a blue gem on reroll but it's really a white gem we need uh stun attack for five three shield Oh yeah, and the disease is killing us as well. Uh, I'm, I'm doing all right, doing all right. Uh, this is, yeah, hard mode chaos realm, which is basically endless mode. I'm trying to get five stars to unlock a relic. It seems unlikely. Uh, this gives us four shield. This actually heals us. So I think we, he pierces, but that's okay. He's the only one. He is going to res him, though. How much of a problem is that going to be? Yeah. Hoping not too much. Uh, okay, well, it's better than a cosmic horror for sure. Let's do... Holy Light. Let's... This is a great time for Shield Bash. I think, is it? Other than he's resing them. We've got to kill you. Shield Bash. Boom, boom, and fortunately, boom. Uh, what else could we do? I don't want to replace the fangs. But we could put this face over here. More white gems. More shield. Let's do it. X health increase by three. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, we got four shields, so we're only taking two damage. Okay. Five, four, one. So, and two shield. So, keep that. Uh, I guess we kill you with the... Uh, yeah, we kill you with a one. I know, three shield. So the only one who's going to damage us is you, so we better kill you. We'll do that with that. And uh, the next most annoying one is probably you, so we'll kill you with that. And then we'll do that. Oh yeah, I forgot you damaged me. That could have been bad. Boast, whenever you kill or capture a non-chest, non-door enemy this turn, gain notes equal to its maximum health. Okay. Uh, did we get extra charges for stuff as well? I think we probably did. Ah, uh, go. Yeah, really could have used multivitamin. Keep. Help. Okay. Holy light now. I guess not. You might get something that gives us more charges. Meditate. Remove all debuffs from two random debuffed faces. Gain two health, lose two fear. Uh, we sh should do that. 
The only downside is we might get rid of the curse, which is healing us. <sighs> but if the disease starts to get out of control, which it will at some point, that would let us put it back under control again. Oh, let me take that. Okay. on our part, so... Uh, take one piercing damage for each health you gain. This is where we want to get the health on re uh, Oh, yeah, and this is healing us as well, so that's doing damage. Ugh, why? Why are they... Uh, why are they diseased faces? Why? damage with a three Good grief oh well a walking corpse is better than a skeleton so we could kill the skeleton with that. We could... Cursing attack is good actually. That gives us more heals. We actually should keep him alive as long as we can. Ah, uh, God. This thing though is terrible. With a three, removes three symbols at random from your dice when damaging you. Ooh. Last time we captured him. Wait, wasn't there something that gives us an attack multiplier? dying. Oh. We can only really kill him. 9, 10, 11, 12. 14 damage from everybody else. Hey, Cart, how you doing? Uh, oh, the attack multi was from the captured roaming werewolf, was it? Thank you. Okay. No, oh, I don't have any more. Corpse doesn't respawn as a walking corpse. We've got enough to heal as well. We are actually okay at the moment. Uh, we could do strategic retreat. Now, if we kill another enemy, we'll get more notes, which will 
pushes up into four temporal gold. He's horrendous. God, so let's Yeah. I, uh... Keep the nerves low. If I don't use them, this guy I may end up re-rolling notes next guy anyway and pushing me over. So maybe I should just kill him. No, we gotta get rid of this guy, otherwise he might be dead. He'll just get rid of all of our friggin' dice faces. Let's do Oh god, heart with us heals him. Well, yeah, we got some hearts, I suppose. Let's do a strategic retreat. He actually, yeah, he withered this stuff, which is actually fine. I'm going to replace anything, it'll be that. Uh, the notes now would be good to let me buy that. You need a big attack, though. Mm. That's not really a big attack. It's a bit of a okay. I, I love that we're getting healed by the curse faces. That's fantastic. Uh, saving gold might be necessary to replace faces after wither hits. Yeah, good point. Good point. Although I would like to get rid of him now. We do that. Six and five, he'll come back as a walking corpse. We've got two shield though, which is decent. So I think we, yeah, we just want to not be with it anymore. Thanks very much. And one attack left. Uh, let's put that on him. Got two shield. I'm not getting with it anymore, so let's buy this fay. Good thing about curses, it does not get replaced when we put a new face over it, so we still keep our healing powers. Oh, uh, we could kill a lot with shield. Yes, we should do that, shouldn't we? We've got loads of things. Thank you. Pointing that out. Should have done that first, shouldn't I? Uh, I th 
think we, I think, I think, I think we take it over here. Surely I, I expect at least one fang on every roll. Um, yeah, come on, we can do better than that. Five, six, seven, eight. I could charge this up. Uh, we kill him and get a chest with the key. Uh, or we re-roll. Nah, let's just keep that. Uh, go one, two, keep. Uh, charge that up. Give me you. And uh, five damage on the Duchess. Kill the walking corpse. She has life steal, so that's annoying. So corpse. Okay. What we get decent heal. Don't really want the reap though. Happy with everything that we've got captured. Uh, red gems, white gems, shield, and attack multiplier on sale. Even over the reaping attack. Lose the blue gems, but we got plenty of other blue gems. Yeah, let's do that. Health is fine. Until we start rolling diseased faces. Okay, sale. This is nice. Where could we put that? We could put that right here. Uh, mm -mm, next turn. Okay, money, we move two debuffs at random, or streak and points, streak and points. Okay, all enemies get fearing attack for the rest of the scenario. No, all enemies become relentless for the rest of the scenario. They can't be stunned or frozen. Well, that's fine, because I don't have any stun or free. Well, I got one stun, I guess. Yeah. Fearing attack, you've then basically playing with 10 health for the entire scenario, which is, and I got no way to remove fear, so that's just bad. Uh, kill target, non-boss, non-chest enemy, add its attack to each active enemy's attack. That's a good finisher. Double all gold earned for the rest of this turn. Let's take that. 